This is a video demonstration of how to install PSS on your Mac uh, if you're running Mac OS X 10.7.2 Lion. Um, there is, it's very easy to install. The first thing you gotta do is you have to go to our website and go to support.techprosecurity.com to download the two files you need to install them um, for you to run the software. Then uh, once you're on, on this page, you can click Mac PSS for Lion available here, or you can basically click here to download the Mac uh, PSS for Lion. And then you need to install first uh, Xquartz. Uh, this software is essential for you to run the software, uh, for you to run PSS. If you don't install that, you're not going to be able to run PSS. So uh, first is first, you install the software, then you reboot your computer, then once it reboots, you have to go to your applications folder. Oops, I open a different software. And you go to the applications folder. Then you go to utilities. And then you will see the uh, the new icon. It will show up here, and it says exports. So you click on it. Then you need to confirm that you're running the latest and greatest uh, version of it, which is 2.7.0. So you click on it. You click about X11 and there you go 2.7.0 so that's the the latest and greatest uh, then you quit the software then you need to install uh, PSS um, I'm not gonna install X words because I already installed it so uh, to uh, do this video I the only thing I'm gonna do is install PSS but you do need to install X words in order for you to install PSS once again uh, then uh, once you install PSS or once you download PSS, you basically double click on it. It's going to be in this format. It's going to be a PKG or a package file. And then you're going to double click on it. And this is the main interface uh, for you to install it. You click continue, then install. It's going to ask you for a password if you have one on your computer. Just type it in. Then uh, once it's installed, it's going to say the installation was successful. Then you close it. And then, as you know, all of the applications on a Mac, they will go to the Applications folder. So you click on it, and you will see the icon PSS. You can uh, drag it to your desktop, or, or you can just basically click it. And as you see here, you will see that X, this X, uh, X quartz will show up on your dock. And uh, if you give it probably like 10 seconds or so, you will see that uh, PSS will show up. Uh, this is the main interface, of course. You can, uh, you know, basically the, the username and password is going to be there already. You have to click login. Nothing has changed in comparison with the other version. The only thing is this version is especially for lions. It's actually, it actually works with uh, Snow Leopard. It's backwards, backwards compatible, but uh, it's, it's a newer version. So, uh, the next step is to add your DVRs. As you see, all of your windows and all of the buttons on the software is, are exactly the same. You can change the layout if you want to. And the next thing we got to do is uh, add our DVR. We can go to Setting Manage, Device Manage, and then you can either click Search Device if you have the DVR internally on your network and your computer is internally on your network, or you can add it manually. For this demonstration, I'm going to be adding this DVR manually, so I'm going to put a title of the DVR, whatever I want, whatever is intuitive to me or to you. Uh, you can put the internal, external, or DYNDNS or domain name for you to connect to the DVR under the IP field. And that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a domain name. DNS.com. The port is going to be 37777. Um, if you have changed it, you have to put that port that you change. In my case, I changed it, so I'm going to be using 27777. The type is a DVR. And the username and password you use to log in into your DVR. Let me retype that password.
then you click save oh, password is not identical once you click save you will see this pop up here it says that it's been, uh, it's been successfully added click OK then the next step is to just add your DVRs and uh, basically once you add your DVRs you go to device list right here and then you double click on it when the name of uh, the device that you added and click the plus button to uh, show up the cameras right here on this demonstration I'm gonna use one camera we have it's a PDZ camera you just basically click the window you want it to be uh, streaming that particular camera and double click on it and there you go uh, this is a PTC so I can control it if I want to I can move it if I want to um, I can zoom in or zoom out and you know you can basically control any type of camera you can basically uh, you know view your cameras remotely or internally it's a very very good tool I mean and nothing have changed and um, you know it's available on our website and we apologize for the for the delay of the software uh, as you know I mean uh, Lion has been recently um, updated and uh, you know I hope you understand you know it took a little bit for us to uh, come up with a solution I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing <laughs>